Yoga Club. Hello and welcome to Yoga Club. We are celebrating robots and machines in Yoga Club this week and we begin with one of my favourite characters of all time, Marv the Metal Detective. Marv is a machine who identifies metals and can even sense metal buried underground. I hope you enjoy the catchphrase too. Beep, beep, metal, metal. I'll see you on the other side for some wonderful messages from you. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves that I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed and bringing our hands together at our hearts to say the secret yoga code word. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we want to find out what our story is about. So we look through our cosmonoculars. We bring our thumbs and fingers together and we have a look through. Oh, look at that! Wow! All those pretty colours! Isn't it lovely? All those shapes! Can you see the picture? What is it? It's a... Metal Detective! It's Marv, the Metal Detective! He's a robot! <laughs> What's he doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing house pose. This is very exciting. We're going on an adventure with Marv the Metal Detective. Let's start our adventure today lying in our beds. We lie all the way down like we've just woken up from a lovely night's sleep. <sighs> We stretch our arms long and our legs long, like a long piece of spaghetti. And we roll over, oh, and we get out of our beds. Wow! Let's lean forwards and open up the curtains. We bend forwards, reach to the curtains and open them wide. What a beautiful sunny day. Let's open the window. We bend forwards to lift the window up. And we say, hello, sun. Hello, sun. Time to get dressed. Now, we need to put our socks on. Hmm. Let's lift up one leg, trying not to wobble, and put on one sock. Whoop, whoop. And let's do the other one. Oh, trying not to wobble. Let's put that one on too. Whoop. Well done, everyone. Then we go down the stairs. Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. What's that noise? We rub our ears. We can hear something. It's coming from the cupboard underneath the stairs. Let's go and open the cupboard door. Coming down to your knees, take your leg out to the side and lift your arm to the sky and open up the cupboard door, going... Oop. Out flies! Beep, beep, metal, metal! It's Marv, the metal detective! We close the cupboard door, bringing two knees together again. Extend your other leg out to the other side. Lift and reach your arm up and close the door. Ooh. How exciting! Marv, the metal detective! He's obviously been switched on! Beep, beep, metal, metal! and he's ready to go and find some metals. We give our mummies and daddies a great big hug goodbye. Reach your arms wide and give them a big cuddle. Lovely. Then we get our bicycles out. Lying on our backs, we crisscross our fingers behind our heads and lift up our legs to pedal. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, we know. Our bike is made of metal. Mm -hmm. We cycle along. Oh, we go. This is fun. I wonder where our day will take us. Marv the Metal Detective hovers beside us. This is great fun. 
We cycle over a bridge. Sitting all the way up, bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind you, and lift yourself up, making a bridge shape. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, the bridge is made of metal. That's right. Sitting on your bottoms, along the road, are lots of cars and buses. <laughs> beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, the cars and the buses are also made of metal. We decide to have a little rest in the park. Ah, the fresh air. <sighs> Along comes a gold-coloured butterfly. Bring the soles of your feet together and flutter your butterfly wings. The gold-coloured butterfly lands on Marv's nose. <laughs> beep, beep, metal, metal. No, Marv, let's look at that butterfly's wings. One, two, three, gold, gold coloured. Let's look at the other wing. One, two, three, gold, gold coloured. Let's look under both wings. One, two, three, gold. But this is a gold coloured butterfly, not a gold metal butterfly. Never mind, Marv. In the pond in the park are lots of silver fish. Extend your legs long and come down onto your elbows. Pop, pop, pop your chest to the sky and look all the way back behind you like a little silver fish. Beep, beep, metal, metal. No, Marv, they're not really silver. They're just silver coloured fish. Oh. In the park, there is a statue. A statue that's made of something called bronze. Bronze is a metal. And the statue is of a lion roaring. Coming to two knees. After three, let's do a big lion roar. One, two, three. Roar! But this is just a statue made of metal, bronze metal. Marv goes straight up to it and says, Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, you're right. It is metal. So how do we tell things are metal? Hmm. We start by going like this on them. <sighs> then we give them a rub. <laughs> and it goes all shiny. Yes. Then we touch it with our hands. <gasps> oh, it feels very, very cold. And what if we knock it? Oh, yes. It makes a very hard sound and feels very hard on our hands. Hmm, that's how we tell it's metal. Time to go back on our bicycles. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, we know that our bicycles are metal. Let's get on. We crisscross our fingers behind our backs and we start to pedal again. We're going to the train station to catch a train. Yay! Here we are. We stand up and we wait on the platform with Marv the Metal Detective for the train to come. It arrives on the platform. Oop, oop. Marv goes, beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, the train is made of steel. Steel is metal as well. On we go, on our train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Here we go around the track. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go. Faster and faster and faster we go. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go until we're going very slow. Pull the horn. Hoop, hoop. We've arrived at the beach. <gasps> And Marv the metal detective, he zooms straight to a tree, bringing one foot on top of the other, your hands together at your heart, and grow up tall. Marv goes, beep, beep, metal, metal. Marv, are you sure that tree is made out of metal? Hmm? We try our tree on the other side, bringing your other foot on top now and your hands together. Grow your tree up tall. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Something is definitely troubling Marv about this tree. Perhaps it's not the tree. It must be something that's hidden beneath the tree. We start to dig. 
taking your hands behind you, crisscross your fingers and bend all the way forward as you say, dig! And up, and again, dig! And again, dig! We dig a great big hole underneath the tree where we find a treasure chest. Oh, sitting on our bottoms, bring the soles of your feet together. This treasure chest is closed, so bow all the way forwards, closing it up. Beep, beep, metal, metal. We need to open this treasure chest. Marv knows there is some metal inside it. But we need a key, a metal key. And who is really good at finding metal? Yes, Marv, the metal detective. He zooms up and down the beach. Zoom, 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 zoom. And he stops in the middle and says, beep, beep, metal, metal. We go and dig right in the spot where Marv has stopped. Turning around, crisscross your fingers and dig. Dig! Dig! Last time, dig! And there it is, a tiny little key. Eek. Let's go and see if it opens up the treasure chest. Sitting on our bottoms again, soles of your feet together. Let's see if the treasure chest opens. Ready? <gasps> it opened. And inside... Beep, beep, metal, metal! There's lots and lots of money. Coins, gold coins, silver coins, bronze coins. All these coins. We should share this treasure because it's good to share things. Let's go. We get back on our bicycles again. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, we know that our bikes are made of metal. Let's get on. We lie back, we put our hands behind our heads and we cycle. We cycle and we go round a corner and round another corner. Up a long hill and down one really fast. Yay! When we get home, our mummies and daddies help us and Marv the Metal Detective share the treasure. Some of it goes to the museum so loads of people can see it. Then the telephone rings. Take your legs out long. Ring, 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 ring. Let's answer it. Hello there, how can I help you? It's the museum. They're saying thank you for sharing the treasure. Yes, that's fine. No, we're very glad to. Bye-bye. Then the phone rings again. Ring, 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 ring. Let's answer that one. Hello? <gasps> it's the Queen. Oh, hello, Mum. Yes, we did. We found the treasure. We gave it to the museum. You want to give us a gold medal? We're going to Buckingham Palace. Oh, this is so ex... Yes, Mum, sorry, yes. We'll see you there in a minute. Bye. Marv, the metal detective, and we go to Buckingham Palace. We stand up. And we bow to receive our gold medal. As Marv stands up, he says... Beep, beep, metal, metal! Yes, he's got a gold medal! It's metal! Wow, what a day this has been. We've learned so much about so many different metals. Oh, but we're feeling quite tired now, especially after our trip to Buckingham Palace. So we lie ourselves down and have a little rest. Lying back... Ah! Oh, we take some moments to relax our bodies and we switch our friend Marv the Metal Detective off so that he can have a little rest as well. Wow, we've learnt so much. There are so many different metals in the world. Some metals are made from valuable things like gold and silver. And there are other metals that are everyday metals all around us, like knives and forks, pots and pans for cooking, door handles, gates, keys, 
and coins, money. Then there's other things like cars and buses and trains and tools like hammers and screwdrivers and spades. All those different metals. And with Marv the metal detective, our friend, our robot friend, we can go and discover them all. What fun. It's time to wake up now. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. Give our knees a big cuddle. We roll over onto our sides and come up to sitting with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts, just like we started. And we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the Metal Detective story with me. Marv was brilliant and so were you. I hope you enjoyed it and come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Hello and welcome back. Wasn't that good? I love that story. Now you have been sending the most lovely messages and I have a few here to read out. First to Lucy who is four and Vera who is three. Hello Lucy and Vera. They would like a yoga adventure that has birthday cakes, rain clouds, fairies and mermaids. Well, what a great mix of things. That would make a magnificent adventure. I can see it now. I will do what I can to make that happen. Hello to Yashvi, who would like an episode to celebrate the Festival of Holi, a feast of colour and singing and dancing. That sounds so good. Also, a Hotel Transylvania 4 episode. I wonder if I should start with one or just jump straight into four. Thanks, Yashvi. Hello to Serenity, who is five and a half, soon to be six in July. Happy birthday for July, Serenity, and I'm glad to hear you've been enjoying your yoga with your mum and dad. Now to our next Magnificent Machine video, and we're going to test out how floppy we can be. Mm -hmm. Let's see how you get on. I'll be back afterwards for some more messages. Peace out. Flopometer. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Your place to get real life superpowers that last your whole life. First things first, let's get really comfy. Can you find some space to lie down or sit and spend a moment or so just getting your body feeling totally comfortable? Once you get yourself settled and comfy, you're ready to start. So, are you ready? I think you are. Okay then, here we go. You're going to find out how floppy you can make your body. To do that, we have a special flop measuring machine called the flopometer. Can you say that with me? Flopometer. It's a funny sounding word, isn't it? It made me giggle when I first found out about it. The flopometer has five levels of floppiness, and we're going to see if we can make it through all five levels today. For every level you do, you get a gold star chime like this. So if you do all five levels, you'll get five gold star chimes. Woohoo! Now, if you are super awesome at being floppy 
and you do make it to level five, let me tell you, you will have reached the top flop spot. What do you think? Are you ready to see if you can do it? I wonder if you'll be able to do all five. Let's try it out and see. We begin at level one. Make yourself as floppy as a robot. Wow, that's not floppy at all, is it? Are you doing it? I'm about as unfloppy as it gets. Everything is super stiff and rigid. Level one complete. Yay, we did it. Well done, you. Now, let's go for level two. Make yourself as floppy as a dinosaur. Goodness, still not very floppy. How about you? I feel like I have claws on the ends of my fingers and toes and lots of teeth in my mouth. Level two complete. Good work. Next one, level three. Make yourself as floppy as a sandwich. A sandwich? Well, I suppose sandwiches are more floppy than dinosaurs and robots. Let's try it. It feels a lot less tense, don't you think? But still a bit stiff, so that all the fillings don't fall out of the sandwich. Level three complete. Yes, you did it. On to the next one now. Level four. Make yourself as floppy as a teddy. Ah, oh, nice, a teddy. When I think of my teddy, I remember how floppy he is, his arms and his legs and a wobbly head. When I do it with my body, it feels pretty floppy to me. How about you? Level four complete. We're nearly there. This is great. We are doing so well on the flopometer so far. I wonder if we can be any more floppy. Only one way to find out. Let's go for the big one. Level five. Make yourself as floppy as cooked spaghetti. Cool. That's really floppy. I'm making my legs and arms as floppy as can be. In fact, I'm making my body really floppy too, and my face. Let's see if we can stay floppy enough to get our final fifth gold star chime. Yay, we did it. We reached level five. Would you like to score some extra bonus flop points? The best cheat for the extra flop points is to close your eyes. Make yourself like the cooked spaghetti again and just breathe slowly. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. That's it. Well done. Wow, did you hear that? That was the flopometer telling you that you're the new highest scorer. Fantastic. Now you know about the floppiness levels, you can help your mind get super ready for our peace outs. Isn't it amazing how your body can affect your mind? But now you know about the special level of flop, you can use it whenever you need. You did so well with the flopometer, and I hope you found it fun. I did. I hope it helps you too. So the next time you want to think clearly, or enjoy peace out, you know exactly how to relax your body, to open your mind. I look forward to our next time. This is Jamie, saying peace out. Hello and welcome back and well done for measuring your floppiness 
on the flopometer. Now to some more shout outs. Hello to Anna Hilda who turned nine on March the 25th. Happy birthday, Anna Hilda. I hope you had the most wonderful day. Hello to Leela, aged five, from Western Australia, and little sister Neve, who is one. Leela and Neve do yoga together, and their favourite so far is My Little Pony. Also, super yoga to get the sillies out before bed. And because she loves dogs, Leela would love a pup academy yoga. That would be awesome. Maybe I could have my two pups in it, Minnie and Spence. They'd love it. Thanks, Leela, for writing in. Now to our next video, and we are having a machine disco, a washing machine disco. I will see you after this for our final shout outs. <laughs> everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Yoga Disco. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, dancing and lots of fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the disco. This one's called Washing Machine Asonga, where we do our washing machine move and our tumble dryer move. First you get into the groove, with the washing machine a move. Then you build up the fire, as you blow your tumble dryer. Sit down and cross your legs and put your hands behind your head. Then twist from side to side. Let it even be your guide. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Let's take it to our fingers. Make like a tumble dryer. Then you blow and blow and blow and see your fingers start to roll. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a mamba. Wish a wash a samba. Wish a wash a rumba. Washing machine a song. Rolling with the limbo. Rolling to the beat of the pombo. Rolling with the mambo. Washing machine a song. Make my tummy stronger. Washing machine a song. Rumbly tumble dryer. Let's take the music. Wish a wash a wash a wash a wash a wash a wash a Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Everybody loves to dance and spin themselves around. Twisting side to side, we love the salsa sound. Washing machine a song, washing machine a song, rumbly tumble dryer. Now we all turn over. Hello and welcome back. We are going machine mad here today. I hope you are enjoying this yoga club as much as me. Now to our final shout outs. Hello to Anne who is eight and from Malaysia. Anne tells me she loves to practice the yoga so much and that it makes her feel refreshed, sometimes peaceful and sleepy too. How wonderful Anne. Anne would love a magic tree house yoga adventure which would be incredible. Oh yes, so many amazing stories. I am totally inspired by those books too, Anne. Thank you so much for sharing that idea. Hello to Willow, who is eight and a half, and from Sandpoint, Idaho, USA. Hey Willow, I love your idea to do a ballet yoga adventure. Hmm, now the closest we've got so far to ballet was in Betsy the Banana, who made a wish to be a ballerina. Oh, and in the Nutcracker. Oh, yes, you can check that one out on the Cosmic Kids app. Thank you so much, Willow. And our final message today goes to Ivy, who is nine. Ivy just wanted to share how much she likes Zen Den and Super Yoga, which is awesome. You're getting your mindfulness and a proper physical workout from those videos, Ivy. Brilliant. Now, I'll leave you to finish with a whiz, pop and bang as we launch a rocket and practice a telephone pose. Enjoy it, and I will see you next time. Bye! The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe.
telephone pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms and taking our legs out nice and long in front of us. Now, ring, 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 ring. That's the telephone. Let's answer it. Taking hold of one of your feet and holding it up towards your ear. Hello, Cosmic Kids here. How can I help you? Hello, Jamie. Oh, hi. How are you? Yes, I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine, oh, good, oh, good. Like are you? Oh, oh, well, yes, I'd love to come. That would be amazing. Oh, yes. Bye. Bye. Let's put the phone down. We've been invited to a party. Oh, but I forgot to ask when it is. We'd better ring them back again. Let's take hold of the other phone now and dial the number. Beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 beep. Now, telephone pose is very good for stretching our hamstrings and opening our hips. Oh, hi. Yeah, I forgot to ask, when is the party happening? Oh, tonight. Righty-ho, then. Better get a move on. See you later. Let's put the phone down now. Putting the phone all the way forwards. This is so exciting. Better get my glad rags on. I think I'll wear my sparkly onesie. <laughs> Telephone pose. All operators are busy at this time. If you'd like to leave a message, press 1. Your call is very important to us. If you'd like to leave a callback number, press 2. Thank you for calling. Hello everyone. Today we prepare to soar like rockets. We're going to have our best launch ever. Let's start in rocket pose. Standing with your feet nice and wide, your arms wide, bring your hands to touch above your head like a rocket. Now stretch your arms super wide and check out how wide and brilliant your silver wings are. Wow, they're cool. We bring our hands back together to show our pointy nose so we can stay on course. Time to get in. Jump your feet together and slowly bend your knees, coming down into a little squat position. Oh, seeing if you can stay nice and tall, trying not to wobble. Then take your bottom all the way back behind you and your legs long. Yes. Turn your hands to the front, bend your knees a little bit and lower your fingers to your toes. So you're closing your glass door. We sit up nice and tall and we activate our listening ears by rubbing them all the way from the bottom to the top. Nice massage, yes. Then we activate our voice controller by rubbing our jaws so that we can speak nice and clearly. That's it, get a good rub in there. Excellent. Now, we need to light ourselves up. So we lean all the way forwards and we twiddle all the knobs and beepers. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, boop, boop. Now, let's check the steering works. We lift up one of our steering sticks and we go over one way. Boo! Over the other way. Boo! All the way forwards. Boo! And all the way back. Boo! And put a little bit of oil in. There we go. We pop that steering stick down and we take hold of the other one. Let's check this one works. Boo! And the other way. All the way forwards, Pew! and all the way back, Pew! and a little bit of oil. <laughs> Excellent. Pop it back. Bring, 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 bring. That's the telephone. Let's answer it. <laughs> Hello, Cosmic Kids here. How can we help you? Oh, we're clear for takeoff. Thank you very much. Lovely. We pop the phone down. Bring, bring. Ring, ring. That's the other telephone. Let's answer that one. Hello, Cosmic Kids here. How can we help you? Get ready for your best mission ever. Okay, we will. We put the phone down and we prepare for takeoff. Turning to the side, everybody. Bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind you. 
Now, lifting your hips up as we count down from five to blast off. Here we go. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. two one. one. Five. Blast off. We sit our bottoms down, take our arms wide and lift our legs up to the sky. Wow, we're flying up into the air. We bend our knees and we take our knees over to one side and our head over to the other side. Then we reach our knees back up into the middle again and we come over to the other side, taking your head over to the other side as well. Wow, we're launching into orbit. Time to sit up, bring your knees back up, cross your ankles and rock yourself up to sit, turning to the front. We bring our hands on our knees and we close our eyes. We have had the best launch ever. And now we are prepared to make this day great. We open our eyes. Have an awesome day. <laughs>